Hurricane Barrel, we know, is still churning this morning. It's a path of destruction as it makes its way towards the Cayman Islands. Now, she passed through Jamaica Wednesday, lashing heavy rains, leaving, well, this, what you're looking at, flooding, and we know at least one death. To give us a sense of how Jamaicans are coping in the aftermath, we're joined right now by Jamaica's Minister of Tourism, Edmund Bartlett. Good to have you with us this morning. Good morning, Anne-Marie. Uh, thank you so much for having me, and a uh, very pleasant morning to our Canadian viewers. Well, I'm curious what kind of morning it is for people that were affected by uh, the hurricane passing through. What's the situation on the ground? We know the curfew has lifted, but what are people dealing with this morning? Well, this morning we're dealing with um, general cleaning up. Uh, the effect has essentially been, you know, a lot of wind and, of course, some level of rain. So what we're cleaning up are fallen trees, primarily uh, restoring uh, power lines where there have been disruptions, and generally um, getting the infrastructure back in nick to enable the fastest possible yeah, uh, reopening of all the critical areas. Right now we're sharing with our viewers some pictures of the wind <coughs> destruction there. And as you mentioned, power lines are down, which means a lot of people without power. What are the latest numbers of who does and does not have power this morning? Oh, no, well, I think um, the, the numbers are still being calculated, but um, the, more than half of the country is still um, in position of uh, full energy. Uh, certainly where I am in Kingston and um, in the Montego Bay area of hotels, it's a critical element for um, of international visitors. The hotels are all essentially in good nick. Um, all our visitors are safe and, uh, and, and reasonably comfortable in regards to everything. And um, our airports are being in the final stages of uh, being equipped to reopen as fast as possible. And um, the good news overall is that the system is gone and um, the country is now uh, in a shape to begin its rapid recovery, which Jamaica has the capacity, as you know, um, uh, based on our own resilience to do. Uh, you mentioned visitors to the country, and we know tourism is an essential industry. What kind of damage did Jamaica's tourist hotspots suffer? What are they cleaning up this morning? Right. So essentially what they're cleaning up is uh, debris from fallen trees and also the impact of um, any uh, minor flooding might have taken place. Do they because, have power? Uh, you know, 80%. Yes, that's a good thing because most of the uh, hotel assets have um, independent power supply systems. Uh, they have independent water systems as well. And that's a good news. So all our visitors, basically, the reports that I've had, uh, we have a very, very strong destination assurance um, strategy as well as infrastructure in Jamaica. So our teams are out there in every hotel, and um, we're getting the reports that hotels are pretty much in good nick and our visitors are safe and well. Uh, Mr. Bartlett, I want to thank you for joining us with this update this morning and our best as people work towards the weekend, getting power back to everybody, cleaning up from flooding and uh, the damage and destruction that was left as it passed by Hurricane Barrel. Thanks so much. Well, thank you very much. And um, just to say that God has been good and um, the country has been spared um, absolutely the worst and we are in a good state to recover as fast as possible and within the next um, 48 hours, I'm sure we'll be able to declare that all is well for visitors and everyone to come into Jamaica. Uh, so if you're planning to come, don't change your plans right now. We're still good and um, we're getting better. And um, as usual, Jamaica is the finest place to be. Uh, whether it is rain or shine, we're still the finest place to be. Minister, thank you. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.